Hello chaps, welcome to John Robson Guitar Tuition once again as always. I do hope you're well. Uh, I want to say before we get cracking today that um, the support that I'm getting from you guys in growing this channel is absolutely blowing me away. Thank you so much for to everyone who's uh, liked and commented on videos and hit subs the subscribe button. It makes a big uh, difference to me and um, yeah it's uh we're, we're edging ever closer now to 10,000 subscribers which is a big milestone for me so thank you so much for that also thank you to everyone who has contributed to guitars for good causes which i'm sure as i'm getting new subscribers all the time um there may be some people new to the channel who don't know what that is uh guitars for good causes is a gofundme campaign that i'm running and there is a link in the description box below and basically what's happening is that people donate money to that GoFundMe. I use those donations to buy guitars and equipment, which I feature on this channel. That gets me views and uh, so on. And that's my end of it. That's what I get out of it. And then once I've reviewed the equipment, it gets uh, sold with proceeds going to Zoe's Place Baby Hospice, which is a charity in Middlesbrough, which provides palliative respite and end of life care to children under five with terminal illnesses. And basically that's what this video is about. I got some figures here that I'm gonna quickly run through uh, with you. And then we get onto the fun stuff of choosing a new guitar. Um, okay. Basically, the last update I did in any kind of depth was in December last year, and the balance in the uh, guitar fund then was £89.15. Since then, on the 28th of December, I received £4.60 from GoFundMe. Then, on the 16th of January, uh, £19.17 came my way. Then, thanks to a very generous single donation, and you know who you are, thank you very much for that, uh, I got £96.85 on the 6th of March, and then earlier this week, 13th of March, I got £9.46, making a total in the guitar fund now of £219.81. Now, uh, from the sale of equipment to uh, donate money to Zoe's place, uh, in December we had currently we had then raised two thousand two hundred and forty four pounds and fifty pence and since then uh i got uh i raised 79 pound from the sale of the mxr carbon copy pedal uh 80 pounds from the sale of an imac computer which was uh donated to me that sounds like a paltry amount for the computer but it was um it wasn't working basically and it was an old one and it was sold that the operating system wouldn't even update anymore basically a friend of a friend uh said oh you're doing a, a charity thing aren't you well you're doing youtube videos i've got an imac do you want that to edit videos on so i said yes and uh, got it here and it wasn't really up to the task so put it up on ebay for like spares or repair and it raised 80 quid uh, that went to Zoe's place. Then one of my students donated uh, an old Tanglewood acoustic that he had, and that raised 75 quid, which also went to Zoe's place, meaning that the current total of money we have raised for this charity is £2,478.50. We're knocking hard on the door of two and a half grand here, chaps. Thank you so much for that. Okay, pending sales, there is the uh, Harley Benton Banjita back there. That is currently up on eBay, and I'll keep you uh, posted on how much that fetches. The link to the listing is in the description below, by the way. Um, other things, you remember I did that uh, competition with uh, the prize being the Zoom G1ON multi-effects pedal. Well, the guy who won the competition very generously donated it back to the campaign so when that goes up on ebay next month uh i'm trying to spread the ebay sellers fees from one month to the next basically uh when that goes up on ebay uh next month uh whatever that fetches i'll match that and that will all of that money will go to zoe's place and you'll remember a couple of weeks ago i did a, a multi-effects for newbies video featuring another pedal which had been donated to the uh, campaign uh, a zoom multi-effects pedal i think it's the g3xn uh once again that will be going up on ebay and whatever that fetches i will let you know so 
yeah, we're well on course to be, I think, not just raise over, raise two and a half grand. I think that is a given. I think we're going to be heading towards three grand to the charity uh, sometime soon. And uh, as I said earlier, uh, we've got about 220 quid to spend on a new guitar or guitars. And I was thinking we could either go for one of these, a Harley Benton TE52 um, Telecaster copy. Uh, these are great guitars. One of my students has one and he's absolutely in love with it. And it's uh, it's easily up there with something like a Squire Classic Vibe, um, albeit being a Harley Benton, it's probably going to turn up and need, you know, a setup and, and everything. But, you know, we can take care of that. So one of those, or maybe one of these, an Ibanez GSA 60. Um, again, about 160 quid these are, and either with this or the uh, Harley Benton Telecaster thing there, there's plenty of money left in the pot to do upgrades if pickups need swapping out or anything like that. Just basically to try and add a bit of value to it to make a profit on it as we get it out the door and make more money for the charity. Uh, then another one here, how about this, uh, Gear for Music's own in-house brand, a Sub-Zero Rogue guitar, um, not usually into like these offset body kind of things, but there's something about this that it just makes me uh, curious to try it, or here's one out of left field, how about, would you like to see a review of one of these, a lap steel guitar, um, I don't know. It's just out, I'm just putting it out there. If you fancy seeing something like that, a bit of an oddity uh, from for from the usual stuff we re review here being uh, featured, then let me know. As always, leave your comments below. Uh, one other thing I will mention is that this guitar is still here, the uh, Harley Benton SC something or other. Uh, basically the Harley Benton copy of a LTD type metal Les Paul type thing. Um, I've had three goes at selling this now and it just doesn't want a shift. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take it into the local branch of cash converters and whatever they're going to give me for it, that will go to Zoe's place as well. So let me know which guitar you would like me to feature out of those that I've mentioned there and uh, I will act accordingly. And with that, I'll uh, bid you all a good day, say thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all again next time around, folks. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me, thanks for supporting the charity. See you next time. Bye for now.